Hi friends, it's Rose here. I've been busy this month and I'm really proud of myself and what I've been able to do. I have built an entire character creation system in Unity. You will see it right at the beginning of the game when you create your character. In this devlog, I'm going to reveal the new assets I've made for this character creation system first. And then I'm going to show you a sneak peek of my character creation system before I take you behind the scenes so you can see how I built it. Once upon a time, there was a girl. Her biggest passions were video games and storytelling. She wanted to combine those two passions and make a story-driven RPG game. But with zero budget and zero coding experience, how could she do that? Well, she's doing it. Here it is, Raindrop Chronicles, Roots and Rumours. It's the first episode in an ongoing 2D fantasy RPG video game series about sentient objects trying to find their place in the world. If you watched my last devlog, you will probably remember seeing the game's new character sprite style I created myself from scratch. I had only done a single character sprite at that time. I based it on me and how I intend for my character to look in the character creation. We have a few more assets now and I'm excited to reveal them to you all. I'm not going to go over the top though. I might add some extra ones in future alpha builds, but it's important to realise that there's eventually going to be a lot of animations and poses of this player character. If I made too many different possible asset combinations, the work would pile up. So I've kept the character customization choices quite minimal, which is actually probably for the best anyway, because if the player character looked too good, the awesome cast of NPCs you'll meet won't look unique or stand out as much. Okay, are you ready to see the new assets? First, I made this feminine body type because that's the body type I'd prefer for my character. But not everyone will want a character with boobs, so I needed to make a masculine version. Here it is. I'm super pale, so I made this sprite a light skin complexion. But we needed more choices, so I made a medium and dark complexion for both the masculine and feminine body types. Here they are. My sprite had blue eyes and I recoloured them into green and brown, which you can see here. I made long black hair for mine and now we have a few other hair colours. I did hide the bangs though. I might prefer NPCs to make use of those kind of additional and unique features. Here are the different hair colours. They all look pretty good with the different complexions. Now hairstyles. Although long looks great on a masculine body type too, not everyone will want their character to have long hair. Here is a medium length and a short hairstyle. Both look good on all the assets. You might remember this fancy warrior outfit I made for the feminine body type last time. I wanted the hunter outfit to have a different look. Here it is. Both outfits lack armour, but that's the point. 
it's early game after all, so they have to be weak. I had to adjust the outfits a bit for the masculine body type. I didn't want them to look too different from the feminine version, but it was important the outfits fit their frame. And last but not least, a weapon for the hunter. The warrior has an axe and the hunter has a bow. Now for the big one. There's an entire character creation system here in Unity since the last time you saw me open it. I spent the first half of the month creating all those assets you just saw and the second half of the month building the system you are about to see. The first thing I did was import all the character sprites as PNG files. As you can see, they are not full sprites. The assets must be separate. I do it this way so they can be layered on top of each other and be turned into a full sprite that way. It's far less work than importing every possible different character sprite combination. There would be hundreds if I did it that way. But as you can see here, there's just several folders with several files in them. Far less and far easier. I wrote a script for each layer, body, complexion, eyes, hair, etc. And then I added them to the player object and its layers. I coded these scripts in a way that allowed me to drag every frame of each character asset into these little slots here. So when you click a button on the character creation UI, it stores the variable of the thing the player chooses and pulls the appropriate character asset from this list. This is an example of the player body one, but it also works the same for all the others. Player complexion, there's a few more in there. Um, and uh, we have the clothes in here. Every single asset are in those slots. Okay, here it is. I am going to go through this whole character creation system so you can see a demo of how it works. So you pick your gender. We have male, female and non-binary options here. I am going to go for the female as that is what I am. Um, and then we Get to pick the body so i'm going to go for the feminine body type and just so you know you can pick a body type that is separate from your identity you can have the male gender and the feminine body type and vice versa and um, then we get to pick the complexion i am going to choose the light complexion for my character and then we have a few more options so we already have the blue eyes by default. Um, I'm going to keep the blue eyes, but just so you know that they change. That's what they look like then. The same for complexion, just so you can see uh, the different ones. Now hair, long hair, black for my character. You can also change it and it updates all at once. Yes, you can also go back and pick the masculine body type if you decide, oh, actually, I want to change it. That's fine and it doesn't change anything else about your character. I designed this navigation so that uh, you could see your selections at the top in an easy way because certain things like gender, for example, are not obvious. Um, the next one is your job. This is uh, the first version of this character creation. There might be a few UI changes over time and a couple of updates. Um, right now we don't actually have it set, say what job it is. Um, so that's something important to eventually add. But you can see that this one's the axe and this one is the bow and arrow. 
So I'm going to pick the warrior for my character. And also, if you want to be the masculine body type, you can change it and it will automatically change the outfit for your character to the masculine version, which is pretty cool. To see to see your character in masculine form. Um, now you will soon find an item to help you on your adventure. You can choose one. This is all story stuff. So that is an interesting thing that might help you later on. And then we have the last one, which is your name and your pronouns. So again, the, the pronouns are separate to your gender identity and your body type. So it's quite a fluid character creator for such a simple one. I've already got Rose in there because it saved it from last time when I tested. Once you have chosen yours, the confirm button will be available to click. But you have to have everything done first before you can progress. Um, so you gotta make sure you're happy with your selections. All done, confirm. And then you can have a little walk around if you'd like. So yeah, we're here, our characters in the world now. I wanted to show you all a horrendous bug I had the other day when I opened Unity. It freaked me out. So I was picking the character, everything worked fine the night before by the way, it was perfect and then all of a sudden something weird happened. I was like hang on a minute, why Why does my character have blue skin still? That's weird, I picked my complexion, what's going on here? Okay, must be something that I forgot to do, I have to check it again. What the hell? What is this alien with eyes at the back of its head? Pure nightmare fuel. That's all I'm going to say. I was freaking out because I had no idea where this came from. Everything was working fine the night before. But I have sort of 90% solved this book now. Some of this environment art is going to get a little bit of a glow up soon. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be very exciting. Last time I said I would dedicate a small chapter in each devlog to a story, character or world building topic to spark some fun discussions in our Discord. I'm quickly going to read out several themes that all make sense for Raindrop Chronicles Episode 1, Roots and Rumours. I want you to join our Discord and discuss it together and vote in this channel or comment below and tell me which of these is the most interesting theme to you. Be sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash raindrop RPG. Screenshots and sneak peeks are posted on there before anywhere else on the internet. Thank you so much to Fantasia and Mr. Radu for being VIP Patreons this month. And my other Patreons for believing in me and Raindrop Chronicles. By being a Patreon supporter, you're helping me make my dream come true of continuing to work on this full time and bring the world of Raindrop Chronicles to life. I'll be posting YouTube dev diaries every month. They will be the best way to follow the game development journey, so don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. See you next time for December 2021's devlog diary. And if I made too many different possible asset combinations, the work would pile up. I wouldn't even have time to go to the loom. Did anyone watch that South Park World of Warcraft episode? Because that's what I'd be like. <laughs>